Good Saturday morning. Oh my goodness. And here we are. You guys pretty cool. Car Flamer Ford. Why don't more dealers do this? Popcorn. If you're watching this, do you remember me singing Good Morning Sunshine to you? I think he does. Yeah. Don't make him cry. So, uh, yeah, so why don't more dealers, you know, this is a small dealer, Carl Flamer Ford. Hey, uh, for Mac, if you're watching my videos, thank you, sir. This is the gentleman here that, uh, Mac's a great guy down there, Carl Flamer Ford, that helped me get this vehicle. And it's just a really great guy, and, and I just really like that dealership, Carl Flamer. I mean, the gentleman down there that, in the service department, Rob, I mean, just great people. And, you know, it's a smaller dealership, but it's not. It gives you that big feeling as an individual. You know, I mean, this is not what it's all about. You go buy a car, don't try to be feel big and special. And that's, you know, that's what I'm telling you. Carl Flamer out of Tarpon Springs, Florida. They have a really great dealership. And the service end to me is just phenomenal. Great parts department, just a great operation. And, and like I say, it wasn't for Mac. Mac uh, helped me get this nice vehicle for my dad, which ended up kind of coming to me. And whether it's to be in my vehicle or not, that'll be uh, well, that'll be seen. We'll wait and see how that plays out. And these gentlemen put the mud flaps on for me, and nice tiny new cover. And you know, she's just you know, I've done I've done reviews on it. Oh, my dad should. Well, that's nice. I'm down there. I got my little barcode getting out of the the really, uh, gate down there but you know i i ordered this up and i just think wow, this is a really Ford neat got it so dirty you no know, here we go here goes the critiquing by the kid here we go <laughs> this should is we... from our scones yeah should we go to town and get this breakfast our... or we... yeah and put the me and popcorn dad we used to put the dogs in the back and yeah. i would open the back little window yeah and yeah. then i would have it half cracked for them yeah and then uh we would have the Spanish Caliente music Oh playing. boy, you'd be dancing and, together, right? And um, we would also have an orange scone with our coffee. <laughs> Yes, here's the back here. You know, for, you know what's incredible? Here for all you Rivian guys, I'm not embellishing here. This is no lie. My seat is way back right now. So that's pretty far back. But the head, the, this is no lie. His truck, <laughs> his back seat area, it's borderline as big as a Rivian. Yeah. Dad, I'll make Dad, all the Rivian guys. Dad, yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to go put on my boots and then we can go with the dogs to town. Really? Okay. Do you want to? Sure, we can do that. <laughs> All right, we'll take a little. We'll take a little test drive. <coughs> as my kid hacks and coughs this morning, <sighs> as the cold weather comes in. But yeah, you know, no lie. I mean, and and it's easier to get in and out of. I mean, yeah. See how? I mean, it really is. This is so. For all your Rivian guys, I know you can hate me all day long, but well, I spent one hundred thirty thousand dollars, one hundred twenty thousand dollars, or a hundred thousand dollars for a freaking truck. It ain't a truck, man. Sorry. So, you know, here's the interior. I think it's really nice. But, you know, I wonder what the two times is always about. There's a little power uh, supply for your towing your trailer. So, the front end. I mean, you know, I, you know, this is the thing. I was talking the other day about how you can buy a Ford Ranger, which is way over there, buried in my other side of the property. And that's just a great vehicle. I mean, I think Ford's really doing a good job just on the smaller you know truck platform so here on the uh, maverick how do we get it oh look at that so it just opened up there now there this is where i'm disappointed ford if you look here there's a stud there's a there's an area for you to put a stud for a screw or a bolt there it needs to have an engine cover but you know it's all about the supply chain issue which you've heard that conversation but you know nice you're nice i mean a lot of people i mean even me it just seems sometimes a little ratty you know just like a rat's nest but not bad at all and uh you know once again it's just a i and i picked this this is the red hot chili pepper the red hot pepper uh red look at that front toe hooks on it i mean it's hard to believe this vehicle is truly designed to tow four thousand pounds i mean do we believe that I mean, sincerely, I mean, 4,000 pounds, I just can't see it. Spray and bed liner. And then we got the nice little soft top tiny cover. Got your power supply over here. And my apologies to anybody who's seen my other videos, but I just love this little truck. I really do. See a little back window. And then you know what? You can do so much. I mean, you put, little, you put bigger tires 
and wheels on this and kind of get the slammed look. I mean, I think it looks fine right now. Boy, that's cool out here. Brr, brr, you know, I couldn't really, really pay attention to the, the license plate's off center, you know. That's kind of like the European thing, you know what I mean? Just a great vehicle. But, you know, but the thing is, it doesn't drive like a truck. So that's where it kind of separates me. And the fun factor is it isn't like a truck. And I kind of wish it had more of a truck feel to it. And that's why I think it's kind of the negative on my end. It just doesn't have that truck feel. But it's a really cool looking vehicle. All right, take a time out here. All right. Hey, it's Ice Age TV. I don't know if that all got, I think we said that earlier. But here we are. We're going to run up to town. The uh, Maverick and, you know what, the wife. The wife is really interested in this vehicle. She really seems to like it, which that'd be pretty cool. This is such a cool looking vehicle, as I said earlier. But for me, <clears throat> where, the, where the fun or the excitement kind of usually stops is when I get in the vehicle and drive it, right. because it just doesn't drive Dad, Dad, like the truck. Dad, in all sincereness, yeah. I don't want to listen to you talking the entire oh, time. Oh my town. gosh, I, mean, I can't do my YouTube Saturday morning conversation. You You're can, cutting me off. You're cutting me off. And here's, not, but you know, tires, oh, so hey. It tires me. Yeah, I know, well, oh well. Life's, you know, sometimes you have to pay the consequences to hang out with your daddy. Look at this, what's this all for? <laughs> It's okay. Auto. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. Look at look at the storage though. Here's water bottles here, water bottle there. One or two at least. <laughs> one or two over there. You got oh, one in the uh, the back door. Oh yeah. Look at the Ram truck. Yeah. Looks, the trucks are all prettied up. So and then you Why got didn't the you back. Put tire shot on the Raptor. Because I just didn't want to last night. So uh. A helicopter. Yeah, here comes the helicopter. So, uh, so a lot of water bottle storage, you know. And once again, I'm Urka the Rivier guys. I get it. I get it. But you know what? Hey, hey, this car here, this vehicle here actually has water bottle storage. I mean, up front, have a nice console. Look at this here. Look how big that is. I mean, here goes the hair. Here goes everything. So, uh, really? Yeah, so I think that, uh, you know what's interesting? I wonder fuel. Well, I'm sure this is an 87 octane rated fuel vehicle. Dad, I want to see. Well, there's no sunroof, is there? I want to see. Well, get out of the truck and look over ahead. All right, so here we go. You know, see. Peppy. This thing for sure is Peppy. There it is. And I can't remember if this thing has different drive modes. I think wow. it's freaking heated seats on. I can't remember. Oh yeah, they do. This vehicle does have different drive modes. So let's see. But let's see what it does. Hold on. Slippery, normal, stand. It doesn't have sport. I know. It's so weird. Why does it have? That doesn't make any sense. This is the highest level, you know, Maverick, it, as far as I know. It's a four cylinder. Well, yeah, but you don't have your option. You have the hybrid option, but you can't even get those. I mean, that's. That's a big thing right now. So many people have that hybrid because why? Why? Because of gas prices. Even though, for the record, is anybody watch what's going on? Did anybody, anybody on my channel? Did you follow me this past summer? I preached. I preached back early summer. By late summer, it's over. The gas prices are going to start tanking. The barrel of oil is going to start tanking. The economy is going to start tanking. I preached this stuff. I preached it over a year ago. Yeah, so the, you know, the, the I believe the hybrid maybe gets forty miles a gallon, but you freaking get get. I mean, that's that's the problem. I was just showing you earlier about the front engine cover for this or the uh, engine cover, and you know they the Ford can't get them. Fords I was reading yesterday they, they can't even get their freaking Ford nameplate to put on the vehicle to identify it as a Ford. They can't even get those things on a regular basis. They're having to resort to own three D printing possibly. They want the Ford logo that's put on your vehicle to last more than a year. <clears throat> so that's even holding up. That's even holding up your car being shipped. Well, not so much. They're shipping those. But it's real. So on Ford's end, there's more articles being talked about. How Ford is, oh, here, here's his classic. So this is the auto. No auto. This needs to be on auto. Now, we don't need to be 80 degrees. And what they took away is this used to be, that little dial right there used to tell you the temperature instead of up there. 
you know, I've, I've talked a lot about a lot of things. I kind of go over a place for anybody who follows me and, and everything. I'll tell you, the technology side on these vehicles, I mean, think about this. There's so much technology, borderline, you don't want all the technology. And what's the number one hindrance in the industry? It's the semiconductors. The semiconductors are the challenge for the automotive industry, but yet it's... I talk about this. I think some people would just would take a really basic, simple car anymore. Where's that option? You know, where's the basic option where you don't want all this technology? Yeah, I mean, borderline, it's being shoved down your throat, and you're having to pay more for a vehicle, but now here's a manufacturer struggling to get product to market, where probably a third of the people in the market would be like, I just don't want all those features. I don't want them. I don't need them. I mean, you know, people live in Florida. Do they really want heated seat? <laughs> heated Dad, seats? do you remember my friend Rooksa? Oh, I can't keep track of all your friends, but <laughs> yeah, <academies>. whatever. <laughs> okay, here she goes. Here we go. Here we go. It's the first time I've texted her in months. Oh, wow, wow. okay, good. So anyways, so uh, yeah, back to the, you know, the hybrid is more sought after, but you can't get it. This car right now, this thing really does get down the road really very easily. You know, the seating, I talk about this in a lot of my videos. See the seating? The seating for this small vehicle is really good. Because you go years ago, I've had like, I've had the Toyota Tacomas, I and mean, I've even had the Dodge Dakotas and other form vehicles. And my biggest complaint of those is you sit on your rear end on in the truck, meaning your legs aren't propped up, and that's a huge. I've talked about it numerous times in my other videos. If you're not, if your body position isn't like a chair where you where you eat at the kitchen table, and it's more like you go by the bean bag or the, the or the jump seat in the back of a vehicle, where the seat basically is just on the floor of the vehicle, it it's the worst. It it puts so much wear and tear on your body. You know, it really gets your spinal cord. It's you feel. It wears you out. So this vehicle, you know, that's a really nice show you is that you can see over here is you have nice seating upright position. I'm not even at the highest seating. You know, as you hear in the vehicle, it's very quiet. I mean, this, this vehicle here really is, even though I've been, it drives really nice. It really drives nice. But don't expect the truck feel. But overall, I mean, I'll tell you straight up, it's, it's a great, wow, that guy just did a maneuver in front of that guy. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, so yeah. So, and then, you know, last night I was reading more about the car industry. And I tell you, I guess the only way I really ever get big on my YouTube channel is I just start posting radical, negative things. Why don't things. you remember my friend Rooks? I talked about her all the time. Dad? Well, you just told me you haven't talked to her in like six months. No. Two or three. Oh, okay. Because well, of the summer, she got her phone taken. Okay. Well, I mean, but then like, she got it back. Yeah, okay. Well, for the record, I mean, is this kind of like the bright, the happy part of the day or sad part of the day? What does that mean? Well, that I can't remember your friend's name. Well, I just talked about her a lot. Okay. So I'm surprised you don't recall. All right. Sorry. Not, it's not intentional. But. All right. So, anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, the, the, the now, I mean, here it is. There's YouTube channels out there, and here's a guy that probably works for a major car automotive group that buys up cars, and he has a whole like 20 minute video. Gee, that's a nice video, isn't it? Like 20 minutes. Yeah. Why can't I make those right? I have. I do. You get some of those. You gotta pay dearly to watch my videos, right? <laughs> you gotta spend the, you know, well, it probably helps you take a nap. Or maybe you're on a long drive somewhere. You know, some people weigh in, they're truck drivers or other people, and I guess they like to hear the conversation. I like to hear that. You know, they kind of, you know, they're driving on the road and who wants to listen to the radio? I mean, sometimes the radio drives you nuts. Who wants to listen to the media? But here's the point. This gentleman's going on and on yesterday, late last night. I mean, I didn't even get in bed till midnight. I didn't even sleep in reality. Why? 
Just well, right. it's just so wound up, you yeah. know. Once you get certain certain point past the hour, I just don't sleep. You didn't go to bed till one or two? No, well, I didn't fall asleep till one. Then I woke back up at like three, and I woke back up at like five, and then. So anyway, so yeah. the gentleman. Did he have green lights? Oh yeah, he was a rainbow. You made video. If you watch my video, you'll see it. Why did he have rainbow? I called it the rainbow truck because it had green and red and blue and it's really nice. Is really, really a good part guy. Of the community? I'm sorry. <laughs> Is he a part of the community? Uh, I don't think that's his community. Oh. No. All right. So getting cursed on us, but anyways, no, really nice gentleman, nice rig, nice operation. He's a great guy. He actually subscribed to my channel, and I said really? I'll probably use him. If I want to take a few cars to Florida or something, he'd be a great guy to, to reach out to you and help us out. So, anyways. You said that to the last guy, too, and look who you didn't call. Well, that was just pre-COVID. You know, I'm just so, yeah. Well, I don't see serious. That isn't true. I don't have his phone number. I don't know. I can't remember him. I'd use him. I was a great guy, too. But that guy was more of working off a regular old trailer, yeah. not a car haul. This guy's much more professional. So, anyways. The, uh, How did he get out? Just around the, the, the street, just drove around the circle. Did you tell him? Oh, yeah. He called me. We talked. We talked a lot. Yeah. He liked Dad. He talked about Dad and everything. Really? Oh, yeah. What about but he talked you? also about how things are slowing down. You know, it's getting more challenging. You know, so he, he talks. I mean, actually, he got very political in our reality, meaning that, you know, he's not happy. He's from Jamaica. And really great guy, and he's not happy with what's going on in this country. He left this country to come here for the land of opportunity, and he just feels like, wow, what's going on? I mean, you know, he's just, he thinks it's bad. He thinks, like, what is happening? Why? You know, he doesn't understand. Because if you live overseas, all you ever hear about is America is the land of the free, the land of opportunity. It isn't the governing bodies, you know, dictating. It what is, you can though. Do. Yeah, so, anyways, let's not get up on the channel and go. Here we go. In case you haven't even had breath to shed, she wound up. Yeah, so this one guy, so he claims that, that yes, the, the the repossessions is rising. It's it's getting bad. The lenders, but well, you know, if you listen to my videos, just the way I talk, what I talked Slow about down. here a while ago, here's the flag guy. We like the flag guy. This guy here, he's former military, and he goes around and he sets up all his flags. He just is a true patriot gentleman and uh if you see there you see him i love you flag guy and there she you're right my inspiration him. yeah he's a nice guy and he goes around and he's just show, trying to show his patriotism he also dances yeah look at his car over there yeah he is really cool he is the is he unique yeah he's unique is he like the ice age guy too so so what so what the gentleman I love said his hat. oh he's got a nice hat too it's good there he goes. He has a popcorn swagger. No, he looks like Elvis. Looks like Elvis? I don't think so. He's all, I mean, he's all done up today. It's a holiday. Today's a holiday? It's that? Patriotism Day. Oh, okay. So what he said, which I've talked about, is the banks. He said the banks. They're pretty much, now, this is coming from a guy that claims he works for a big automotive group, and he's one of the key guys that, you know, is the money man, and, you know, he's he's the money man guy that makes decisions and analyzes the markets and smell? keeps the uh, dealerships abreast to what's going on in the markets. So, he claims what's going on is the banks are done. That's his statements. The banks are no longer going to be buying 130% value of the car, 120% value of the car. The banks aren't going to carry these subprime, you know, people that have lousy credit. I mean, you know, he went through like three different scenarios of type of purchasers of people, you know. And so, yeah, the people have excellent credit, they're going to be okay. The people have okay credit, they're not going to go out on the limb for them. The people don't have, have really bad credit, they're done with them. They're One not, thing I noticed mot most about motorcyclists they sometimes their headlight isn't working. Yeah, it's a bad thing. So, so he's going on and on in this video, just basically talking about, hey, hey, everybody, uh, what his presentation is: don't buy a used car. 
because, and get this, this is very interesting information. He claims that the, the auction values are way down, meaning he's making statements like the auction prices on used cars are 10% off, but the, but the car dealerships aren't raising their hand and letting people know that. Yeah, he claims that right now the, the trap door is getting ready to open. You're that's the so use. funny. That's the door. That's the you word I use. You literally just keep going on buying crap. Well, you wouldn't have a Ram 2500 truck or a Mustang GT. Mustang I'm bike. saying you're telling everyone this, but you're doing the opposite. So, so, so he's you know he goes on about how what he claims is the truths are getting ready to prevail in the used car market. Or the used car. So what he's telling people is, don't buy a used car. That anymore. lady has a stank face. Gee, that's nice. So he's <laughs> emphasizing, she don't really you know, don't go out and buy a used car right now because the prices are inflated and the dealers aren't being upfront with you on how they're getting incredible deals on the auction and wholesale side, unbeknownst to the average consumer. And that, and eventually, it's going to start. Well, so <sighs> many used cars because the repossessions are rising yeah. so much, and when the banks we talked about are start, you know cutting off people buying things the used car inventory is just start growing rapidly is kind of where he's kind of making it sound so you know he's presenting it like hey everybody you know we're right at that turning point where the fiasco is going to happen what's up baby flag day yeah now we're in the big long line if i have one i have one window open it's ridiculous here we go. And here, in this place, this place, it was down to Costco's gas pumps. Yeah, why not anymore? What happened, everybody? No oh. more free money. Oh, wow. What's happening, everybody? It's open. I can't read it, though. What does it say on that sign? Lane one? Is it open or closed? You, mean, <laughs> you passed the drive, the, the uh, vision test yesterday? <laughs> Pause the video, I have to tell you something. No, I'm not doing it. That really aggravates me. Because you'll, you'll, this will be, hey, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That, you know, it'd be like, well. But. This aggravates me that we have been recording 20 minutes almost, It says 16 minutes and 45 seconds. But there was seconds. other videos before it. Well, you I and can't. Mom hung out in the car for a half an hour, yippee yakking, and expecting, you were pooping. expecting uh, popcorn you, burgers. You were in the bathroom. No. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Turn off the video. Well, what's going to happen? I can thou edit it out. Thou shall be prevailed. <laughs> no shall thou <laughs> oh be gosh. This irritates me. Get the camera off me. Is that violent? Violence. Did you see the violence here? Yeah, okay. So, anyways, so the message from that guy's YouTube. Why can't I talk to you? You will. We're just done with the video. So, we had to make it work here, anyways, in a second. We have plenty of time to talk because we're sitting here waiting for the guys and gals to make us your uh, breakfast forever. And I'll tell them an egg burrito with cheese only. And what you guys will do, they'll make an egg burrito with, with hash browns in it. And I'll tell them five times egg, egg burrito with cheese. I don't want any meat or hash browns. Okay, okay, okay. Egg burrito, blah, blah. And then by the time I get to the front window, what do I get? An egg burrito with hash browns and egg and cheese. Yeah. So anyway, so this one gentleman, he, I mean, this gentleman comes across, the background, though, cracks me up, because he's, like, in Hawaii, he's, like, in the Bahamas, he's somewhere where it's, like, Gilligan's Island, you know, if you know what I mean, you know, he's, he's living in the, 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 Ew, the tropical my business life. Teacher? No. Oh. And so, and so anyway, so his message is, it's all happening, the banks are done, the banks are pulling back, and the used car market's getting ready to take a huge turn. And for all those people who are patient waiting, you're going to be rewarded for that. And for the car dealers, they're getting ready to there get There goes the squad. Real... That's what everyone does. Do you see that? Yeah, let's take it. No, the no, no, no. Man, violence. That's embarrassing. I, mean, I can't see him anymore. Oh, you, you called were... it out. Because it... turn off the video. <laughs> 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 Why? I mean, ah. what's so personal? I wanted to tell you. You're gonna get targeting and something personal or something? I want to tell you about my friend Ruxa. 
What is it about that person this morning? What happened? <laughs> I mean, I, she is, is my she best growing friend. plants? Well, you haven't talked to her for three months. <laughs> she doesn't answer. I, does this make any sense? Please, I wanted to tell you a story. <laughs> really? Well, when we get up here to get the food order, we'll turn off the video and we'll talk about your friend, okay? So anyway, so this gentleman, I mean, so, okay, so there, there's one article, and then, yeah, the, the world markets are getting killed. If anybody's following the market, you know, that's like, is that like new news? I mean, what is going on, right? I mean, more than ever in our, our yeah, I don't know, then the housing, I've talked about all this stuff. All right, back to the Mavericks. The Mavericks, really cool. It really is not missing. It really is comfortable, heated seats, adaptive cruise control. And, you know, it's nice, too. It has, this, it has this right here where you can turn off the volume. So many cars. You know, it's interesting. That Raptor has no little icon or little sign for hanging up the phone. All right, here's I want the... I uh, number two with an unsweet tea and chicken <coughs> sauce. Okay. All right, so the kid's making fun of me on my YouTube channel, but it's all right. She's no, a kid. I don't. All right, well, that's good. So... So yeah, so here we are riding around the Maverick. You know I what? What I love about this car you. is look at this here. I do not make fun of you. I just say sometimes I want to talk to you, but you don't let me. That's when I get your angry. Yep, I hear you. That mean daddy. You I didn't have a blinker on. Well, I get you. I'm gonna go across the way and get you that here. How much? Is the three fifty-five. So the Sam's Club. Sam's Club, look at this place here, already, already, everybody's waiting in line, and let's see here, what can we do here, so these people already, ah, no, there, there's one over there, that ain't gonna work, here's a kid wanting to play music, <coughs> and she wants to play her client, Caliente, Caliente, What's going on here? I wonder. Oh, cool. So this always worked out well. I lucked out here. Yeah, so put 87 in 355. There's 355 gas. I think by end of October it'll be three dollars. Oh, the mad rush is already on. And I hear it's Saturday morning. And everybody's and their brothers out and about. And I can't get out of this spot because cars are coming from both directions. And yeah, so anyways. So, look at this car here. I mean, this is pretty cool. See that there? That, you know, how you kind of open it and close it. And, oh, the auto office off here. This person here is like, well, I don't care. <laughs> uh, the craziness begins. Watch out. Look out. Surprised the kid isn't doing that. So, here comes another person. So if I don't hurry up here like him, it's hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Saturday morning. The day I dread drive around this area. It's the worst. And it's so weird down in Florida. It's totally opposite. What is that about? I talk about that all the time. This area here is just a rat race. It's a rat race. You make really good money around here, but it is a rat race for the record. So anyways, yeah, the car, looky here. I mean, looky here, look at this. It's got all our drinks, our food. I mean, just so much room. And this is a $37,000 vehicle. Think about it. People are spending $100,000 more for an electric truck called a Rivian. I mean, think that through. Like $200,000, well, $150,000 more for a Hummer. I want to say something to you and listen and don't cut me off like you are right now. So I'm talking and then no, you just Rivian interrupted me. No, Rivian is electric. Really? No, so amazing, amazing. when you add water and extra stuff, that adds weight, which means you get less miles per gallon. Yeah, okay, well, everybody's really... Yeah, so anyways, you know, yeah, buy a Hummer. <laughs> All right, so anyways, back to electric vehicles. The, uh, this looks good. Well, have it. Eat it. So anyways, the, uh, <laughs> what I just ordered, the kid wants to eat. <laughs> uh, the parent. Ew, kid. I don't like muffins. All right, well, I don't offer yet. Yeah, so you think with electric vehicles, That's oh my not. gosh, it's beyond believable. If you really stop and think about it, I mean, think it through. People are buying, spending right now, I think, two hundred thousand dollars for the, the Hummer because it's electric. Yeah, I know. He probably has all these fancy dancy features. Look at look at me, the guy that's spending ninety grand for an F one hundred and fifty truck. 
Yeah, I get it. But I mean, at the end of the day, though, if you really think it through, I mean, really? I mean, to me, it's about the experience and technology and blah, blah, blah. And, and for us, it does, to me, for us, what we're doing right now, it, it does work for us. But if you're just buying one to park in your garage and you don't drive many miles, I mean, to me, what a waste of money. Yeah, I mean, I'm not lying. It doesn't make any sense. But whatever, you know, to each his own. Anybody looks at me like, yeah, waste of money. How many cars do you have? Yeah, I know, I get it. So, you know, going back to the car market, the Ford Maverick, really great vehicle. I think the wife's end up loving this. I mean, this is, and she's already like, well, what would you have to, what would you give up for this? And I'm like, I don't know, don't worry about it right now. Yeah, you know, for right now, who knows? We'll see if she likes it. I like it. There's the dangers. I mean, that shit's pretty nice. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on here because I, I kind of had a mixed feelings about it, but now I'm driving. Actually, I'm kind of really liking this. One of my good friends, Rick, works at Home Depot. I think he ordered one of these. What if he ever got it? And I made a video of him huh? going, he and I going out and about looking for a nice used car for him. This was like, oh, it had to be like a year and a half ago. Dad, it was back in 2020, June. 2020 what? June. Okay. July. All right. I can't keep track. But yeah, so these other guys' YouTube channels, what I was saying earlier is, it's incredible. I mean, guys, YouTube channels, it's all about the fear factor and negativity, and it's incredible how many hits they get and how many subscribers they get. I mean, it's so incredible how, and that's that's just the nature of mankind. I mean, that's just who we are. You want to see, oh, look at that, you know, oh, my God. That's just kind of how we, why do people go to the, the freak Halloween shows? Here comes a kid, she's sick of me talking to, she's going to crank up the, uh, the music on me. Yeah, she's hungry. Have you noticed in that, the attitude? Yeah, so now she's playing music to be copyright issues as we talk down the road. So, uh, yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, so what are you doing today? So, you know, here we're talking about the negativity and all the... And I can remember one guy's channel, he was guaranteeing us that the diesel would run out. That there'd be a diesel fuel crisis. And I didn't believe that. I mean, I listen to a lot of videos, other people too, and like, eh, yeah... I'm sure some people listen to mine, same thing, but, but yeah, so what's the next adventure? What are we doing today? The Maverick showed up. Wait a second. Is there a gator conversation? Well, this came from Florida. Is there a dead gator in the back of this thing or something? Are we talking alligators? Gator. Isn't that kind of funny? We got a Florida vehicle where the gators, like, totally live and are, like, millions of them. So yeah, so follow me along as the kids cut me off with the music. She's like, Dad, I can't take it no more. I can get that. So follow me along on Saturday's Adventures. We're dancing away with the Caliente. What a great truck. I tell you what, I'm starting to eat my words. Hot dang, this thing really is fun. So yeah, I'm eating my words, aren't I? The Maverick, Ford Maverick? Yes, you need to go buy one. Can you buy one? Probably not, but I gotta get the tree taken picked up today. But oh my gosh, what a great, just a great, well, if the fleet's growing, yeah, the used car lot is growing. The only thing I am kind of surprised about, no home link. No home link, that's crazy. You'd think with this vehicle being loaded up like it is. All right, the adventures continue. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, goodness. All the options. It's always about the toys. So, one part of me says take the trailer on the left. Another part of me says take the trailer in the middle. Other part of me says forget the trailer to the right. And then I say we get the Ram truck to do some pulling, Tom. <laughs> now, yeah. Let's go to my Honda dealer. And... You know, now I'm getting this, am I? Am I giving away the secrets? Now that I'm thinking I'm going to get the Gator, part of me says get rid of the, the Honda rant, the Honda that I so much use, right? That's such a cool unit. You know, it's my garage a disaster. Yeah, it is. It's just never ending. You know, do I part with that? Actually, they, they offered me a really good number to give it back, but then I got thinking, good God, it's hunting time. I guarantee I could 
get good money on this thing. I could get what I paid for it. So I think I have to think about that. I wasn't going to go up there and see those guys today, but I think I'm going to pass on that. So, all right, the adventures continue and begin. And so, uh, and oh, I was meant to take a picture in the freaking, uh, had the Maverick over here because this is the hot pepper red. I got two hot pepper red Fords now. How about that? Yeah.